New Idea magazine infuriated royal fans after claiming the Prince of Wales, 70, has had enough and is consulting his divorce lawyer Fiona Shackleton, the formidable solicitor who advised him during his first divorce from Princess Diana in 1996. New Idea cites a royal insider as claiming the royal family is aware of the split but the Queen has ordered the household to hold off from announcing the scandal. The wild claims have not been confirmed by Clarence House. Camilla missed the Queen's pre-Christmas lunch at Buckingham Palace and the Christmas Day church service at St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham, due to suffering a heavy cold. A royal insider has said that Prince Charles and Camilla's marriage is over. The royal source said, while the whole world has been obsessed with Kate and Meghan's feud and William and Harry falling out behind palace walls there's been a much bigger drama afoot. It's believed that Charles and Camilla are set to announce their divorce imminently. They've already signed the papers and have barely seen each other in recent months, apart from Charles's 70th birthday event, which the Queen made Camilla attend to avoid speculation. The palace reported that Camilla had a cold, which is why she missed the Queen's festive gathering, but Charles was telling everyone on the quiet that they're no longer together. Camilla, 71, also missed Princess Eugenie's wedding to Jack Brooksbank in October. At the time Clarence House said she had previous commitments to attend a local school harvest festival near her home in Balmoral. The magazine added that despite the Prince of Wales's apparent openness about the end of his marriage among the family, the Queen is keen to keep the news under wraps. The insider said, it's believed the Queen wants to hold off until Meghan's quarrel with Kate and William dies down before announcing Charles and Camilla's divorce. She just can't handle more scandal at the moment. The baseless claims come after Camilla praised her husband for a documentary celebrating Prince Charles's 70th birthday. She described the future king as a kind and exceptional man in the intimate documentary.